What's going on everyone, Xnia ShotX here from NTP, and I'm back again with another Hermitcraft member. Today we have Monkey Farm. Link to his channel will be in the description and a link to the original video in which, in which we made all of these, all these guys, all these Hermitcraft members in a big old tribute. Um, so yes, quick note that I uh, usually don't make on these guys about Monkey Farm. This is probably my favorite skin, and we've had a lot of requests for Monkey Farm. A lot of people have actually asked me, like, Ninja, when are you going to do Monkey Farm? Because I've been waiting for Hermitcraft to come out so I can make Herm so I can make Monkey Farm because he is so incredibly hard. And I will agree with you 110%. He is incredibly hard. In fact, this was back in the day before we even had, like, uh... Like, any... We, we had, like, we used every type of brown I think we could. Because he has so many types of brown on him that were used. And it's just, it was so ridiculous. I think the original one we made had, like, dirt or something in it. Like, because we didn't know how, <laughs> we didn't know what else to do. He has so many different shades of brown on him. And just, oh my goodness. But, even still, like, the pain <laughs> that went into making this skin... It, I think it came out looking great, because he has a really cool skin, I personally think, out of all these members of, well, all the members that were and are still a part of Hermitcraft, I I still think he's my favorite. Just from how hard it was to make, and from how cool it is, I think, I just really like this skin. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to give this one to you guys. So, alright, enough of my little spiel about how much I like this skin. <laughs> Let's just get into it now. So dimensions, all right. So the legs here are eight by four by 12. The torso here is eight by four by 12. And the arms are attached or aligned to the torso and they're four by four by 12. And the head here is eight by eight by eight with an obvious hat effect. You can see his hat here. It comes out in the front and on the sides. Nowhere else you'd think like maybe in the back or something. Nope, just right here in the front. So there you go. Um, and as usual, I will have uh, pictures and stuff in the plastic texture pack at the very end. So uh, feel free to check that out if I go through this too quickly. So, yes. And those dimensions are linked by the height and will be in the description as well. So, yep. Let's get into this now. So the front of the legs here. The majority of it, so a lot of him, like I said, is made of wood. So, yeah. Bear with me here. You're going to need a lot of wood for this guy. So the pants here, front of it, or the front of the pants is jungle wood, uh, speckled about with uh, uh, spruce wood. His the bottom of his feet there are oak wood, and then, like the detailing, the kind of outline is in uh, spruce wood. So yeah, going right here to this side though, uh, we have more jungle wood, oak wood, and spruce wood. So there you go. Here's the back. Back is again jungle wood, spruce wood, um, elk wood. Oh, and you know spruce wood and planks as well. I I didn't mention that, but yeah, little it looks like little bits of dirt. I think that's the original that used to be the dirt on him. So uh, yep, there's that. So there you go, that side. And then this side is the exact same as the other side because you know it's just like it's the skin, so it's just mirrored right across. So just you know. Mirror that right across exactly the same. All right, now it's time for the front of him. This is where things get a little bit harder, a little bit more colorful, at least. So uh, his overalls are still made of jungle wood with uh, the dirt on it being um, uh, uh, spruce wood and planks. Or, I guess I should say jungle wood planks. I've been saying jungle wood, but you can tell the difference between jungle wood and jungle wood and planks. But even still, jungle wood and planks, spruce wood and planks. Uh, his skin there on his chest, or I guess his fur maybe, is uh, oak wood, along with on the bottom of his hands is oak wood. Uh, the fur on him is um, uh, spruce wood. He has gold blocks for like the buttons on his overalls. Uh, I don't know if I said oak wood and planks yet on the very, you know, in the front of his chest, but you can probably tell. And then for the shirt he has, the plaid shirt, um, it is lime and white and gray. Yes, there's that. Here's this side of the uh, shirt. 
the, you know, just the plaid just kind of comes all the way around, the lime, the gray, and the white, it all just kind of speckles about. And then the oak wood and the spruce wood, you know, just kind of like right there, just like hanging out like sup. So there's that. And then here's the back, which actually I think is probably the most detailed part about them, with the diamond hoe on the very back of them, which is like the coolest part. But it's probably the, it's probably the most detailed part about them. So obviously the overalls, as you can see, that's uh, jungle wooden planks with uh, the spruce wooden planks for the dirt. You got a little bit of yellow there, just for whatever reason. Then um, you have the spruce wood um, for that goes around the hoe and on the uh, the fur. You have the oak wood that goes about the hands. The plaid is the lime, the gray and the white. Uh, you have brown in the very middle there for the pick, and then the pick it, or not the pick. I'm sorry, the hoe. Usually it's a pick. The hoe itself is um, cyan and diamond blocks. So yeah, and then all this. I think this is oak wood. Yeah, that's just oak wood and planks right there at the very top. The rest of this just. Uh, uh, jungle wooden planks, so there you go. I'll try to show a little bit over here this arm, even though it's the exact same as the arm over there. It's just the plaid, you know, you just kind of bring it all across. You know, you just kind of continue the pattern. You can probably make out what it's supposed to be, but I'll just show that. And then, of course, the plaid on the top, it just turns into checkers um, with uh, gray and lime. There you go. Now it's time for the face. The face is made of uh, oak wooden planks, um, White for the mouth, black for the eyes. You can see a little bit of spruce wooden planks there on the side. You see the hat is made of yellow uh, with a little bit of red and uh, another brick on, on the uh, inside there. The brim of the hat obviously comes around, you know, on the front and on the sides. So you can probably make that out. Now it's time for the side of the head here. Majority of it is, in fact, uh, spruce wooden, or <laughs> spruce wood planks, spruce wood, I'm sorry. And then uh, oak wood right there for the ear. And, of course, the yellow hat keeps coming around. The brim of the hat stops right there where the ear starts. And then um, the, uh, kind of like the ribbon, still red. And uh, another brick. So there's that. And then the back here, you can see that it's just all spruce wood uh, for the back of his head. And then as far as the hat goes, you can see that it's just yellow, red, and then another brick right here. Just these two little spots of another brick. Um, on the uh, the right side of his head, you can see it's right there. Otherwise, it's just yellow and red all the way across. And then again, just spruce wood all for the rest of that on the back. And then here's this side. I don't believe it's the same as the other side. Uh, it's not. It's a little bit different as far as the hat goes, but the head remains the same. Um, and and you know the hat effect it stops at the same place as well, right there by the ear. So there you go. There's that. But um, yep, spruce wood, oak wood, and then yellow, another brick, and red. And then after you fill in the top of the yellow, you're done! You've finished Monkey Farm. So congratulations if you managed to make it this far. You got him done. I, you know, good job. It, <laughs> he's definitely really hard. And uh, if you got him, you, you got him. You got one of the harder uh, YouTubers in this whole group. So, and probably my favorite skin out of all of them. Actually, yes, he is my favorite skin out of all of them. But, um, and he's, he's almost like in the middle, too, if you see it. It's kind of kind of cool, he's like in the very middle of it all. But yes, so, uh, that's it for this, guys. If you have any other requests, go ahead and leave in the comments. Any of the YouTubers, custom skins, you know, stuff like that. Or other Hermitcrafters, maybe. Um, so that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will see you for the next one.